Eastside Dave Show. Now, without further ado, I know my introduction has been a little long lately. <laughs> I'm going to break it down a bit. Uh -oh. Let's go right to him. Oh, Your geez. host for the evening, Master of Ceremonies, Mr. Oh. Eastside Dave McDonald. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Eastside Look at me. Dave. Eastside Dave. Eastside Dave. Yeah. Eastside Dave. That's right. That's right. Okay. All right. Now we are back from vacation, which means that's right. Expect tonight's show to be 25% extra clusterfucking. I myself am going for a new uh, Roy Harder look, which is, uh, you know, an Aryan Nation yeah. type of neo-Nazi thing. Yeah. I feel right at home here at Compound Media. It's working and, for you, buddy. Uh, of course, um, on our first show back from vacation, who's not here, Andrew? Who's not sitting to your left, uh, Flutzy. Andrew? Flutzy. Flutzy is not here. So, when she uh, just texted me, she just texted me, uh, sorry, I'm gonna be five minutes late. My acting class lit out later than expected. So when Flutzy arrives, I really want her to boo her mercilessly, destroy her with booze. Let me hear a little mock up of what it would sound like. And maybe like, I hate you. I hate you. How about like, I hate you? How about I hate you? I hate Just you. Just repeat what I said. I uh, wish you were dead. <laughs> I hate you. What's with the Puerto Rican time? Who shows up the first show after vacation fucking five minutes late? All right, that, that, that last one was a little... <laughs> the last one was wordy. And it's asking a lot from the bleacher creatures over there. The fuck? <laughs> Eastside Dave. That is me. Dave. I am Eastside Dave. And a very handsome um, one at that, David. Thank you. The hair is working for you, buddy. I'm loving this uh, this new, uh, you know, uh, white supremacist look yes. I got. Yes. Oh, well, well, yes. It yes. does not share the same ideals as the white supremacy people. Why I'm, not, I'm, David? I'm, why not? Because they're Andrea. No, no, no. Because they're naughty people. They're bad, bad, bad people. Fair enough, David. But you know what? I go, I've been going in the pool every single day. Good for and, you. And then my hair gets it's all frizzy and it looks as shitty as Sam Roberts' hair. So it's like, I don't want that. I, I want a nice clean look and not look like some fucking bozo moron, you know? <laughs> so uh, some, some fucking, you know, all of a sudden fat, fucking moronic looking douchebag type of look. So anyway, who's ready for the gratuitous talk show? Why don't you? All I needed was when I reached out to Sam two weeks ago for the 10th anniversary of Michael Jackson's death, just to reply, D Dave, I can't Skype into the show tonight. I'm very busy. I do a lot of jobs and side projects. That's all I needed. But in two weeks, and the motherfucker didn't just say, hey, Dave, I'm busy tonight. Uh, no, 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 no reply. No reply. Me on a paint on my list? Fuck no. Fuck him. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck that. Fuck that! Anyway, we're gonna start the and hey, hopefully I don't get interrupted no! by no! Boom! 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 Shame! 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 We hate you! We hate you! We hate you! We hate you! Shows up. Why are you bald? On the first week, the, the first pro, the first episode after vacation. What? Who shows up late? Who shows up late? Who does? I got what, a what buzz. Happened? You're, you're, you're. What you're talking about is so 703, bro. <laughs> We're like two minutes past it. Yeah. Um, let's begin tonight's episode, Thank you, David. okay? Thank Darth you. Trump has made headlines by telling a group of Congresswomen and people of color to go back to their country, yeah! which is embarrassingly the same thing I say to Flutzy every Tuesday night at 8.30. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me started. The Dave Man's a live wire. You yeah. certainly okay. are, my friend. This is symbolic of yeah. the type of anger that is currently living inside me. Right. I am ready uh -oh. to fucking Michael Douglas falling down this entire fucking city. Oh, man. Hell yeah. 
<laughs> Bill Cosby <laughs> just tweeted out a birthday message from prison asking all guys to, be co uh, to become, quote, men of valor. All right. Yay. Bill Cosby said that. Men, men of valor? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like uh, Camelot, I suppose, except I don't recall King Arthur having to roofie the shit out of Lady Guinevere to get some. <laughs> That never happened. That never happened in none of those books that I read. That was not show my road about King Arthur and Lancelot. Okay, oh, Jesus Christ, Jim. Settle down. Settle down. Thank you, Angela. You do have a Cape Fear kind of De Niro laugh. Um, amazing statistic right here. Americans are expected to spend $26 billion on streaming subscriptions this year. That number is projected to climb to $32 billion in 2020. I mean, listen, I'm certainly contributing. My premier subscriptions to Pornhub and Uges alone are costing me hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Pass the time. You gotta do something to pass the time. You gotta tell them something to pass the time. You gotta pull on something to pass the time. All right. Metallica is releasing a children's book called The ABCs of Metallica. I got an advanced copy. It's a cute little book, Roy. For instance, E is for Enter Sandman. That's fun. Uh, one of their greatest songs, of course. M is for money, which is what it motivates them these days. At least Lars. And B is for bus crash, which killed their original bassist. Oh. 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 Swift Bird, rest in peace, baby. Rest in peace. I'm a fan. I'm actually a fan. Taylor Swift is number one on the Forbes Celebrity 100 list of the highest paid entertainers. Get the fuck out of here, dude. She makes, she made $185 million last year. You're Girl power. Wow. For that? Girl power. Highly <laughs> generous second with $170 million. Just made in 2018 alone. One year. Meanwhile, I sold three East Side Dave shirts on teespring.com last week, bringing my total to 30 bucks. Thank you. Yeah. Who the man now? Yeah. Yeah. Who the man yeah. now? You are my yeah. name. Big chain, my name. Yeah. I must be the man. Sad news for Bobo, uh -oh. big time Mets fan. Uh -oh. Bo, listen to this story, pal. Dwight Gooden was busted again for drug possession. Oh, boy. oh yeah, I know. Uh, on the bright side of things, Dr. Special K is the first Cy Young winner to also win the Triple Crown. Arrests for coke, crack, and soliciting a prostitute. So there you have it. These pitchers don't usually win Triple Crowns. Roy? My name is Roy, that David. That was a very inside baseball. You, well, why wouldn't a pitcher ever win a triple crown? Uh, because he uh, he can you only hit one uh, Ooh, close. Uh, home run at a dinner. He's a pitcher there you go. and a hitter usually wins baseball. Thank you, David. Uh, baseball's triple crown. Roy. Major, speaking of baseball, Major League Baseball is considering a new rule where a batter can steal first base on any wild pitch. All right, this is true. That sounds a little too nutty. I mean, sort of like an LSD nightmare that is only comparable to, I don't know, the East Side Dave Show! Now hit my music, Roy Hotta! Hit my music, Roy Hotta! Back from vacation, Roy Hotta's back in the house! Tonight's show is gonna be an absolute disaster. We warned you. I mean, we warned you. But don't worry, we'll get there. Um, so what you're about to experience, in case you don't know, it's not a radio show. No, it's not. Not a television show? No, who the hell's on? All right, so then what is tonight's uh, show all about here, uh, Andrew? What is this? Uh, the East Side Day Show! It's the East Side A feeling, a feeling deep inside. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's right. I got a feeling, a feeling I can't hide. Oh no, no, no. Oh no. I got a feeling. Yeah. I got 
a feeling Oh, please believe me I hate to miss the train Oh, yeah, yeah Oh, yeah And if you leave me I won't be late again Oh, no, no Oh, no Keeps me on my toes, oh yeah Oh yeah I got a feeling I think that everybody knows, oh yeah Yeah, oh yeah I got a feeling, yeah Oh yeah Everybody got a hard year Everybody had a good time Everybody had a wet dream Everybody saw the sunshine, oh yeah, oh yeah. Everybody had a good year, dip. Everybody let their hair down. Everybody pulled the socks up. Everybody put their foot down, oh yeah. Everybody had a good time. Oh yeah. Everybody had a wet dream. Everybody saw the sunshine. Everybody I got had a, feeling, a good year. A feeling Everybody I can't hide. Oh no. Everybody pulled the socks up. Oh no no. Everybody put a foot down. Oh no. Okay, now a round of applause. After the yes, we always applaud. Only two of you are. Okay, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> well done, David. Um, that, that was good, Roy. That was great. We had a good Roy, time Roy doing that, didn't I we? just banged that out about 30 seconds before the show, so yeah. that was nice. Um, so we're back from vacation. Roy, yes, David. you were at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Well, not really. I was actually... in. Uh, Disneyland, David. You were at it, but the Star Wars land is within yeah. Disneyland. But it's right? like a, yeah, it's you know, it's, it's like an amusement the, park. Right. I, I know really exactly Star what Wars. Disneyland is. Okay. The Star Wars land is within the That's Disney. It. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> just want, just want to make sure, David. About here, just Roy. want to make sure. <laughs> Anything you want to know about it, David? Well, first, <laughs> I want to know why you were trolling me. You know this is my, uh, my, my biggest fantasy is to go to Galaxy's Edge, the new Star Wars land. There you are in front of the Millennium Falcon, A, but B, you said you were in the new Star Trek land. Actually, oh. you said track. Did you said you were in Star Trek. Yes. I, I was, I, I so was, you're misspelling oh. Star Trek, which oh. is your troll. That's like two, three yes. degree, an inception amount of trolling. It was hot, there. David. It was a lot of heat in California. It was a lot of heat. It was a lot of Ewoks <laughs> running around and <laughs> shit. So I was a little bit confused. Yeah, and, and what's your review? Because I desperately need to go to this place. You are out of I just need an Eastside Dave Show listener to please lend me ten thousand dollars yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, much, PayPal David. me didvod at aol.com d-i-d-v-o-d at aol.com I'm really uh, taking donations right now go I ahead think the tickets are probably more like 150 bucks I just... know but I needed to make a whole big trip out of it Fair you know enough, what I'm David. saying yeah. you um, want to okay. Uber out there so, <laughs> I hear you so were, were you freaked out at all or no did they... first of all let me tell you this David I went at the perfect time because they had literally just opened it up to the public and I guess nobody had heard about it so there was <laughs> no one had heard about the new Star Wars land no, not the, not the day I was there because it was literally I had the whole fucking Falcon to myself. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. It the, was the, like... The what? It, the, the Millennium Falcon, right? The, yeah. the Falcon. Okay, I thought you yeah. said Falcon. <laughs> and did you call it a Korean <laughs> The Korean battleship. Ship, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> like you did on the Eastside Dave show Star Wars Spectacular right. all those years ago. It was a little inside joke for me and you, David. <laughs> but anyway, it was wonderful. No lines. Um, and it was... There's only one ride that's actually currently open and it was called the... Um, Oh, shit. Star no. Tours. Star Tours. Thank yeah, right. you, David. Uh, yeah. That was the only ride that was open. That, that one's been there since 87, though. The, the one he's, the ride he's talking about is called Flight of the Falcon. Flight, Flight of, of the, the Falcon. Falcon. That's yeah. the one. And that's by the, the one. way, he, he went to the one in California. They are opening it up in Disney World <laughs> later this fall. Thank you, Bobo. Thank you, Bo, Thank you, Bo, Bo, Bo for being Bo, on top Bo, of Bo. it. Yes. Yes. 
Bobo's You're right. much better at this than Roy, apparently. It certainly is. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you went there. Yeah, Did I, you go to the? See, you you don't drink anymore because I was curious about what the cocktails tasted like at Olga's Cantina. Right? I did see Olga's Cantina. You didn't I, go in. I I went in. Um, get, get yourself I, a nice little bite to eat or something. I had a little cherry coke, you know, from yeah. a galaxy far, <laughs> far away, Dave. But it was, uh, they didn't call it anything else, like Bantha juice every, or something. Yes, they did cherry actually. Cherry coke. I don't even know what the fuck they call <laughs> that know? shit. Everything there was Star Wars themed. Everything right. had a weird name. Did All that the, irritate you? Because I could see Roy getting so pissed off if, like, one more stormtrooper fucking bothers me and my kid. <laughs> I said a diet Bantha juice. A diet Bantha. <laughs> I could see you flipping out. Because it's supposed to be so immersive. You know, that honestly, all the characters are always like getting yes, on. They're your, all in you your know, face. Yeah, but because face. because it was so empty, I was actually in a very good mood, David. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I had, it wasn't like the typical nice. you know long lines and shit like that. It was it was now's a good time to go if anyone's thinking about going to Star Wars. Okay, if anyone's yeah. thinking about going to Star Wars, yeah. according to Roy, not Star Wars Land no. or Galaxy's Edge. But oh. if you're gonna go to Star uh-huh. Wars, now's a good time. Great As for, time. I'll tell you. Um, my vacation was pretty good. Yeah, what'd you do, um, David? I just sequestered myself I from didn't even get a humanity text. and society for you, an entire week. You were literally hiding, huh? Off the grid, so to speak. I didn't want a, a part of any humanity. <laughs> and then, sadly, every once in a while, my Facebook messenger would pling, pling. And it was Jimmy. <laughs> of course. <laughs> inviting himself over to my house repeatedly to play wiffle ball with me (laughs) and my family. (laughs) Jimmy, what is going on here? I mean, one goddamn message. And as if the Facebook messages weren't enough, he he comments on my Facebook pictures and he tweets at me. He tweets at you. When am I coming over for wiffle ball? So now he's hitting me on all sides of the social media here. What is the deal, broski? Dave, I've searched deep in my heart, and I realized that you're the best friend I've ever had in my life. Sad. Sad, because I don't feel the same way about you in any way, shape, or form. I mean, not even remotely. But I, I wouldn't, you know what, not only would I, I'm extending an invitation to Andrea, and to Robert, and to Andrew Gold as well, to come over to my house. I would invite Flutzy, but you'll show up 30 minutes late. <laughs> it'll be like the third inning of the wiffle ball game, and you're like, hey, put me in as a pinch hitter. You're you going to play wiffle ball with them? Yeah, we're going to have a wiffle ball party. It's going to be beers and beers and balls, baby. Yeah. Beers and yeah. balls. Beers and balls, baby. Woo-hoo. And you are not invited. Bo, you are, especially after you corrected Roy about all that Star Wars knowledge, which I was a fan of. Bo, you're invited. I know you're running for mayor of New York City. How's your campaign going? It's going good. For- I, I see you have little uh, pins made, uh, uh, Bobo for mayor. There's going to be another supply coming up soon. A guy... You're not worried about <laughs> oh, getting God. sued by oh, the Mets God. since you uh, stole their logo? Well, I didn't use their exact logo. It's, a, it's exactly the, the same. I use the font, but Jimmy, not the logo. Jimmy, uh, show the camera your your pin. Just get up close to the. Or, yeah, there is that, a pin. They, there you go, Drew. Just stand stand still so Drew can uh, zoom in on it. That's the Mets logo, Bo. You stole it. You said Bobo for mayor. You're using their colors, their logo. Your ass is gonna get sued, buddy boy. You familiar with this? In fact, I'm thinking of suing your ass. I got Neil Unger on the phone as we speak. I'm going to get a few Ooh, bucks out of this lawsuit. Yes. Well, well the, guy, the guy who made these, the guy who made these at Skinkfest gave these to me. Well, that's, I mean, that's cool. We're, I'm, f- I'm for the guy. I'm just saying. You might get in trouble. Andrew's been telling me all kinds of shit. You, are you aware that Andrew's been calling you part-time Bobo behind your back? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Because you, you've missed a lot of shows recently, but you, like, Samuel Roberts, you refused to get back to me when you wanted to watch the All-Star game. And I said, Bo, me and you will watch the All-Star game. We'll do our little simulcast thing that we did when the Yankees were in the playoffs a couple years ago. Everyone will love it. And did Bo respond to my direct message? Uh Uh-oh. The answer is no. no. What? You did not fucking respond. Uh Uh-oh. And you were on Twitter because you tweeted out that you were going to be watching the All-Star game unless, and I happen to be on Twitter at the exact moment. So 10 seconds after you tweeted that, I DM'd you and said, are you sure, baby? We'll watch the fucking All-Star game together. We'll have some fun, have some laughs. We'll call the game. And you didn't fucking reply. I'm starting to get pissed. 
about the lack of replies from society. <laughs> All you have to do is reply. Why are you giving Jimmy the mic? What was the reason for your lack of reply? <laughs> I did not see the bullshit. Reply, Who's think? running your Twitter account? Me. Is it really you? Yes, it is. When I DM'd you 10 seconds after you tweeted at me, why didn't you get back? A little bling, a little notification always hits our inboxes for the direct message. I had plugged the phone into the charger because it was low at the time. Uh. Bullshit. Dave, Bull I, fucking shit. I would never do that to you. <sighs> You're still you, not Jim. invited. <laughs> I'm still not invited. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. <laughs> yes, Andrew? Uh, also, you also always tell us to, uh, oh. uh, I'm like uh, every tweet. Yeah. Uh, who um, who doesn't always look like he every tweet? Bo does not always like or retweet. Yeah, part time Bobo. The Eastside Dave Show stuff mm. that no. he is a part of. He's Harvey, a valuable uh, member of the Eastside Harvey Dave ever. Show. And he I doesn't, checked it. You checked it, did you? Uh, yes, I Bo, did. I, I checked listen it. Listen up. Minus 8,000 points right off the bat. Whoa! Wow. You can't talk about this. Less points than Jim at this point. You can't talk wow. you, Less points than Jim. You can't Man. talk your way out of this at you all. You can't talk your way out of this one. Andrew is on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that guy can't breathe the wrong direction without Big A pointed <laughs> out. Have you ever seen a rivalry Never. this angry no, before? Wonderful. It's really only one-sided. It's, it's very Andrew easy just to hates the <laughs> fuck out of Bo these days. And I don't know what the, the guy ever did. I mean, he, he did get the, all the Star Wars knowledge. For, you know what, Bo? Give yourself two points for getting all that Star Wars shit. You know what, Bo? I, 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 you know what? It's not your fault. You can make up uh, some of these points by getting your ass up here right now. Yeah. Come on up here, Woo! real quick. I want to discuss Bo, something Bo, with Bo, you. Bo, 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 Bo. Come here. Yep. Um, so everyone's all all about this uh, Bagel Boss guy, uh, you know, and he's uh, he's making the rounds and he's the viral sensation. And we were gonna have him on the show. In fact, the guy was pleading to come on to the East Side Dave show. But they just felt like he's done a lot of other programs. He's just been there, done that. And I also feel like we have another guy who gets rejected by women all the time on dating apps. His name is Bobo Boss Guy. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I have a problem with this dating app. Oh, my God. They keep swiping in the wrong direction. They rather date a beta male than oh. a damn alpha like me. So a guy who loads trucks. And, and Drew, we want this clip to go as viral as Bagel Boss Guy. We want I'm Bobo... I'm an alpha. I'm alpha as they come. I load the brown trucks. We would like Bobo Boss Guy, Drew, to make the rounds on the social They rather media. date a beta male that gets them pregnant and, may, and ha causes them to have unwanted kids. That's right. Oh, I pull out. Go, go. I pull Hold out! Go, Bobo, Jim, go. please! Go! I pull out! Um, what? I remember to pull out. Ha are you on dating? Which uh, dating uh, sites are you on? Uh, Tinder. Tinder? Yeah. Okay. And what happens? <laughs> They swipe What's going the on back there? Share with the class, you fucking assholes. Uh, and we just closed herself off like James Dean in the they, <laughs> Okay, let's just keep the focus up here. I know it's the first episode after I, the thing. They're literally putting on their own show, and it's like, you know, <laughs> like they, the they're so fucking stupid Dave, sometimes. Dave, I'm focused on you because I care about you, the show. Thank you, Jim. Go I ahead, Bo. They, they reject they me. They're taking all the steam out of your They, they reject guy, me, guys. and they go with some hipster that'll get the... An unwanted pregnancy, and they don't know what they they don't assign a gender. <laughs> well, well, they're better all. They have a better. They should be going with me, an alpha. This is not gonna go viral. Well, and not it's only just that, my David. Even worse thing, a power outage on a subway, and the mayor's in the middle of the Midwest. Okay, wait. Power outage on the subway. This yeah, was yeah, about yeah. The women on the yeah. Tinder. Last Saturday, while while this was happening, I, t I was being rejected on Twitter. There was a power outage right. affecting the subway, but and the mayor was nowhere to be found. This is about the the He's the busy campaigning in the Midwest. <laughs> what, how are these women? I know you hate Mayor De Blasio. Oh my god! How are these women rejecting you? What are they saying to you? I mean, Bagel Boss guy, for instance, they they make fun of his height. What do they say to Bobo Boss guy? I get word that they swipe the opposite direction. But what have they interacted with you? What are they saying to you to reject you? 
they just, uh, I just get a word that they swipe. They, you get a word that they're just swiping right. Yeah, you. exactly. That must, you must get a lot of notifications from Tinder then, at that point. Yeah, it drains the battery on the it phone. <laughs> and I wouldn't mind if it drained the battery on the phone <laughs> if they were swiping left on me. If they were what? If they were swiping left on me. Yeah. Okay, do you, and and I I think you you're looking good these days personally. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you you seem to have lost a little bit of weight. You're looking nice. Yeah, oh, what's the deal? Oh. Loading the brown trucks, it helps you lose weight. Good for you. Okay, so are you done with the outrage against the uh, the women? What was the thing about the beta beta fish or something? <laughs> they rather yeah. date beta males. Okay, what does this term mean? Because I'm not into you know your little lingo there. They're uh, pussies, and they reject <laughs> everything that alpha males are all about. Right, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, it's one of those, one of those scenarios there. And uh, they have too many neck tattoos. Too many neck tattoos. Who, who is that, the women or the... No, uh, no, no, the beta, beta, beta males. males. Oh, the oh, beta males, beta of course. Beta males have too many neck tattoos. And they believe in that gender-neutral garbage. Yeah, oh. yeah. Okay, so because they're a liberal mind, oh. open mind. And they're dumb enough to vote for AOC. Right, um, yeah. You mean AOL? Oh, oh, oh. A the congresswoman. Okay. Yeah, the congresswoman that's screwing up Woodside. So this is my birthplace. This is less of a bagels, uh, <laughs> Bobo Boss. She's guy. screwing up my birthplace this, at Woodside. Really true, we, she what? does it. She does a horrible job we, representing we, my the, birthplace. Uh, Bo is mad as hell background because he's throwing us yet another curveball <laughs> on the program. <laughs> <laughs> and as mayor, more of the um, once I'm elected mayor, I will ball. build a wall around Williamsburg, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh. Brooklyn, oh. the neighborhood. Oh. I will build a wall around Williamsburg. Okay, you're gonna build a wall around a borough, of, uh, a part of Brooklyn for some reason. <laughs> and we will deport all hipsters to Camden, New Jersey. Camden, what about the, New Jersey. <laughs> what about the Hasidics? Why would you do that? What about the Jewish people? Of course, Roy. The most Aryan person on the program asks about what are you gonna do with the Jews? <laughs> they how, can how are you gonna round up the Jews? <laughs> they can stay. They can stay. <laughs> they can stay. Good. Yeah, he's Good. Jewish. Yeah, I know. You're aware of this. Thank you, Bobo. Oh, <laughs> but if they're hipsters, straight to Camden you are if you're a hipster. Right, straight to Camden. So, if you're a hipster. Okay. Bobo's yeah. mad as hell. Bobo boss guy. He's mad as hell. He ain't good. To Dave, yes, I just Jim. wanted to say, Bobo, I agree with everything you said, except I was a little insulted because I'm an unwanted pregnancy. Okay, let's not keep the maggots going, Jim. Let's just let oh, yeah, 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 Thank you, Bo. Thank oh, you, man. Bo. Dave, did I screw up that bit? Well, you weren't kidding, Dave. You said you predicted it this, this afternoon. I know. Everyone I forgets how to do a show. They're off for exactly one week. You were like, this week. show is going to be a clusterfuck because yeah, you just came back from vacation. I said it off the air. And you nailed I, it. Yeah, 100%. And you also said you're not going to attack Sam. And the first thing out of your mouth before the monologue, you're going after Sam. I am not like, like, you know, I am understanding yeah. that people have busy lives. Of course, yeah. But all you have to do is text back, hey, I'm busy tonight. I can't do it. Right. But the second you start putting me on the pay no mind list, you don't like I, that, dude. I get so fucking pissed. How pissed you it's get, buddy? such bullshit to fucking act like that. Yeah. And just because, you know, if you what you think of your career going well at the, the exact moment doesn't mean you're always going to have a, a, a you know rosy type of uh, fucking of thing not, going on here. Some people go up, then you come, come down, down, and it's up and down, it's up and down. You so and when I, you're coming down, we're at don't the fucking ask me for help. Oh, I'm at the very bottom. <laughs> we are at the bottom. I got nothing to lose anymore. <laughs> no shit. I fucking pulled a goddamn pink foot. I almost shaved off the eyebrows. I know. I was like... I was building sculptures of trash Damn. on my apartment floor. <laughs> yeah, how do you I went this? fucking berserk. <laughs> and I am I am more berserk than ever. I am 28% more berserk than yeah. I've ever been before. You're not I'm even angrier. Good. Good job, Dave. Piss. What's this? Piss. Piss. Why did you cut Piss. your hair off? Is this what the crisis? I don't know. Why Why did you fucking come in five minutes fucking late? And you want to fucking show on Compound Media and you show up five minutes fucking late? Now we're gonna fucking smack talk me? Well, I'm telling what you, I'm fucking smack pissed. Talk? I'm asking you genuinely about why. I you got a buzz hair. cut. What's it to you? Well, Wait, I don't know. This is the first time, time in You year. fucking change your hair. I fucking go, eh, your hair looks like shit. I don't know. Today. Maybe you wanna commit suicide or something. I don't want. You know what? I do wanna commit suicide. Fuck yeah. But man. I wanna commit murder suicide and take all of you out before me. Can we plan it? Dave, so I, won't Dave, show I up thought at you all. only wanted to take me out. Now I don't feel special. Minus six points oh. for you. I am angry 
And tonight's show was, the theme was about fun tonight. We were gonna come back from vacation. Tonight's theme is about fun, happiness, joy, love. Like These a wiffle things, ball things game. Did. What did you fucking say when I'm trying to fucking talk? You piece of shit. When my fucking lips are moving, you shut your goddamn mouth, Jim. Minus 16. Tonight's show is about happiness, <laughs> joy, <laughs> love. You got that, Jim? It's about love, motherfucker. Oh, fucker. Hey. I'm gonna relax, yes. On a I happy know. note. It's, yeah. I'm How do you think I look with the buzz cut, Roy? Actually, honest to God, the thing is, I have been going and utilizing my apartment pool a lot lately. Yeah, Ooh. and it, the, every time I get out of the pool, the hair is just You're so frizzy. like so fucking frizzy. We're redheads, and we have thick hair. I get it's it. It's very yeah. I understand. Yeah. Now here's redheads the thing. actually have very you know fibrous hair, blackish hair. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yes, we do. It's there was actually a study that says that redheads have thicker hair yes. for Caucasians yes. than any other hair color type. And for that, our hair is more akin to a black. That's true, David. And that's why I'm racially cool. And we are also Despite good. Despite with Bobo's comments. We're also much better in I sports, David. I believe in David. diversity. Yeah. What's that? We are also better in sports. Well, I mean, yeah, Mark McGuire. Hair. Uh, I mean, he needed a lot of steroids. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> diverting. Yes. I wanted to point out to you that no Thank one you. noticed that I shaved my beard, buddy. You, but you, you shaved you, your head, but nobody noticed you? that I shaved my beard. Well, you didn't oh, shave didn't your beard. Man. You trimmed it. I took trimmed. four inches off. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No one Thank noticed you. it. No one noticed you it. You still look like a KKK leader. Yeah. <laughs> like, they hardly made a dent in the beard. You don't think You're so. going to take it eight inches off. I went You'd to the lemon look. tree. <laughs> she took, uh, took a little off the sides. <laughs> yes, Jim. <laughs> Dave, yes. Dave, you have a pool? I do. Jimmy, you are never coming in my pool. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> you think you're, you, 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 you want to get invited to the wiffle ball game? You think I'm going to bathe and swim with you? <laughs> the answer's no. A flat out no. And it's a wonderful pool. They have a giant steel grill right there. So you can make burgers and nice. shit. Nice. And the past grill. Saturday and Sunday, nice. the, the, these these families, they're always grilling and stuff. Puerto Ricans. So now I'm skipping meals. Yeah. I'm skipping on buying food because every time I go to the pool, there's like, you want a couple of hamburgers, day, man? Yeah. I'm like, fuck yeah. The I skipped on groceries because of this <laughs> offer. I knew this offer was coming. <laughs> Times are tight. The goddamn uh, American health insurance system is broken. My right ear, I can't hear out of my right ear. It's pissing me off because I've been in the pool so much, I developed swimmer's ear. That's why I said on your left my, side, my buddy. equilibrium is off and I'm angrier than ever because of the swimmer's ear. But then I asked the doctor, uh, how much to take the earwax or do, do the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, $200. It's not too with bad. the fucking copay and shit. How does that work? Uh, why do I have health insurance if I have to fucking pay the doctor? Right. It doesn't make sense. Oh, but it's not broken, right? Bullshit. No, it's broken. Keep going. <sighs> These people. These motherfuckers. The motherfuckers. Um, they, look, tonight's show is about fun. <laughs> yes, Andrew? I was going to tell you. The show is about fun. Fun, thank you, Andrew. About, you always, Andrew, about plus four points for face. you. It's you're, about happy you're, you're always the calming person on the East Side Dave show, and I appreciate it's about happy that. Happy things, you know. What is it, Jim? Oh my God! Why did you have to ruin Andrew's sentiment to calm the room down? <laughs> Dave, and I, now I, you have to fucking talk. What? Nothing. Yes, Jim. Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> James Bond. The uh, they've announced in Bond twenty. Five. Janet Bond. You're close. Oh. You are really close. I was Jennifer. kidding. They have announced that a <laughs> black woman will be taking over for the role of 007. Janiqua Bond. That is she, her, <laughs> her name is <laughs> La, her name is Lashana Lynch. This is the actress's name. Lashana Lynch. She's from Captain Marvel. And uh, she's going to be 007. So they're not going to, I don't think, call her James Bond. They're just, but still, she's taking over 007 from Daniel Craig. How about that? And now here to talk about this uh, very headline-grabbing story is a little boy, excuse me, from outer space. I drank a couple beers before the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, here now to talk about this very development in Hollywood. His name is Shock Jock Robot. Shock, 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 Shock. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Shock Jock Robot. There he is. How are you, Shock Jock? 
You'd be better. You'd be better if I was given a hand job. <laughs> By Edward Scissorhands. Oh, what he said. Okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Fine. What's your opinion of a black person becoming the next uh, 007? There, Shock Chuck. <laughs> She should do well at secret missions where she has to blend in <laughs> because all black people look the same. Oh. That's racist. Right off the bat. Racist. That's racist, bro. What? They should change her code name to Double O Watermelon. That's not. Barely Man. runs with seven. <laughs> Melon seven. It's, it's no, it's not funny. It's offensive is what it is. What? You hear her biggest challenge is what? Not smoking crack while on the job. Despite the laughter from the bleacher creatures, it's very racist. Super racist. I don't appreciate it. What? The super villain that she is going to go after is named... Doctor, no affirmative action. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> Despite Jimmy's Cape Fear, Max Katie laugh. What? Shock, shock. It's going to be hard for this new 007 to fight crime. <laughs> When she has a lot of Maury Povich tapings to attend. <laughs> Playing into a demographic stereotype. Huh? I'm not sure what it means, Shock Jock, but it's very racist. Huh? You hear they're going to move the British Secret Service headquarters from London. To the welfare office in Harlem. <laughs> horrible. I really just wrap it up. What? If they're going to reuse a James Bond name, they should forget calling her 007 and dub her Octopussy instead because nothing grabs a bad guy by the dick hairs more than a black woman's vagina. Okay. That's Shock Jock Robot. Shock Jock Robot. Let's not book him next week. Andrew, don't book him next week. Don't book him next week, Andrew, please. All right. He needs a week off. Okay. Um, something that happened to me on uh, vacation. I, I was going to play the clips, but really, what's the point? What's the point, there, there, There's no point. But I was featured on Checkpoint XP. Hey, congratulations, buddy. I don't do any... Uh, I do very uh, few appearances, interviews these days. So we do please, that intentionally. Uh, spare me. Yeah, I just I don't have any interest anymore. I've lost motivation for that kind of thing. But they asked me as a favor. The guy's a big fan. And um, they're they're an e sports slash video game show that's made you know become a very big show, very big program. And I video talk, games, yeah, video game. I talked yeah. about Billy Mitchell, friendship with Billy. I talked about uh, doing voices for Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption. I'm Perry Rose in Red Dead Redemption. I Thank you very Dead much. I, should, I probably should have won an Oscar for that. Um, and then uh, lastly, I said that I was the greatest Mario Kart player of all time and yes. challenged all of them to a uh, Mario Kart competition. And I genuinely scared two of them. In the clip, I was uh, yep. so uh, <laughs> I was so in your face that one of the guys like, I'm actually scared of this guy. Yeah. So I got that. So I don't know. Look up my uh, social media. There are interviews all over there. That's all you need to know. Um... So lots of things are going on. Compound Media uh, just announced uh, Chrissy Mar Mayer. What's her? How do you pronounce her name? Chrissy Mayer. Mayer. She has a show, Flutzy. How do yeah. you feel about this? I mean, are, are you uh, happy that a woman has gotten uh, a show? She's the first, you know, female lead. We got Joanne, of course. Joanne and such. Yeah, it does a great job with Bill sure. Schultz. We have our very own Flutzy. She's a star in her own room. Yeah. And she comes tardy. Ah. But when she's on time, she's a star. And, um, and now we have uh, Chrissy, who is uh, hosting the own show. The Wet Spot, I think it's called? The Wet Spot. The wet yeah. spot. Yeah. Thoughts and opinions, uh, Flutzi, are you um, supporting your fellow female? Uh, what's going on? I think on? it's great for her, yeah. You do think it's great? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Of course it is. Really? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Is that all you'd like to say? I mean... Uh, yeah. 
That's it? Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Andrew? There's one yeah. thing I noticed, David. Yeah. When a woman is... Uh, I can tell when a woman is scorned. And I, get, I like this, I, Roy. I'm, I'm, getting a sense, <laughs> I'm getting a sense of some scorn here, David. You know, are you getting a sense? I'm getting a sense of scorn, too. But she's not, she's not opening up. No. I, she wants me to drag it out of her. And a, I kind of don't have any interest because I want to go on a shooting rampage. <laughs> So I don't want to pull out of of you uh, today. You're you're sure you're you you want this? I mean, because I think, it's, I, I think it's great for her that she has a platform for women in general, yeah. right? It's great for women. She's able yeah. to do that. Yeah. Um, however, uh -oh. you know. It Don't was, worry, we're not paying her the same. Yeah, She's yeah, we're, we're not. Fifty <laughs> percent less than everyone else. <laughs> right. So you know, so that sucks. That's you funny. know that she's not getting paid the same. But uh, the Roy was doing it like a little gender uh, pay gap uh, joke yeah, little, there. I yeah, like that yeah. one. That was fun. I'm just back from vacation, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> you're on fire, I Roy Hunter. Um So you're okay with it. I mean, because I know that initially maybe uh, you, you had pitched a pilot or Yeah, or the so. exact thing she's doing. Yeah, the exact thing. So The relationship uh, thing. I got better ideas for you than that, though. I keep telling you about yeah, this. Yeah, you know what? I've, I've the decided, idea I gave you was I perfect. decided, um, because, you know, the truth is that I felt slighted about the whole thing. There you go. I sat there now and I pitched the idea. Mm -hmm. When for did you me, do it, though? Like, well, I think before her, according to, uh, to Eric. Okay. And I was given the opportunity, or I was told that I could pilot an episode doing yeah. exactly that. Yes. And uh, that didn't happen. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to take the high road. Good I'm for happy you. for her. First time in your life you've taken I the high road. Uh, yeah, Good for you. The high road every fucking night, baby. This is the first day. Yeah. Yeah. She's never well, taken I, the high road in her listen, life. Listen, I've never. <laughs> <laughs> well, you good for you right. for taking the high road. Um, We're not looking to instigate a fight. Really yeah, not. No, no, no. And I'm, I, don't I, was just, anything, I just want to hear your I don't your have anything against her. You know, she claimed that she that this was an idea of hers uh -oh. that she had as well. The word claimed is... Yeah, I mean, it, it, but that's what anybody ever says and does, right? Like, right. You, you say things and that's your claim she's of whatever. a very funny person, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, no, talented? I mean, she's yeah. great. I'm a redhead, I might add, David. Um, I know, yeah. Very attractive. But it's just, yes. it's just unfortunate, I talented. guess. Because remember when a couple months back, you were like, oh, the sex spurt flu. Scene yes, and I was up there. That's right. right. So that's I already been documented that. and recorded yeah. that this oh, was yeah. my idea. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, like I yeah. wanted to do that kind of a show. Right. Um, I have I, the idea for you. Right. So, I've told you, know you the it idea. It is what it is. She doesn't want to hear it. It's well, amazing. Not just, but what I'm saying is, you asked me a question, so I'm finishing it. Go answer. ahead, please finish um, your response. And anyways, response. it is what it is. I'm very happy for her. And I've decided to move on and Take come up with other ideas. And just. Do you want to share some of those ideas? Um. You know what? Uh, I don't want another idea to be stolen. Ooh, <laughs> there you go. Or something. God forbid I sit here and like convince someone else why an idea should the be good for the network. The road is becoming less high as we speak. What's that? You're, well, nothing. Nothing. Continue. Well, anyway. <laughs> anyway. So that is what it is. You know? And unless somebody wants to tell me otherwise about the facts of the situation, that's just how I feel. Okay. Well, that's fair. I have told you what would be a fantastic... You should do a segment on mm -hmm. the East Side Dave show. Yes. Where you're like Joan Rivers of Fashion Police, and you yeah. get a bunch of celebrity red carpets, and then you just d trash the holy fuck out of their outfits because you're in the modeling business. Yeah, you you you're in fashion, mm -hmm. and, and that could work for you because you could get all Puerto Rican and spicy. It'd be a like, look at this outfit <laughs> that Scarlett Johansson is wearing for the red carpet. All she right. looks like a dyke bitch, or you know whatever. Oh, your words, use yeah. your words. That'll go over well. But you see, I think but that's yeah, I got you, I got that's you. something that we and could I, do. I'm genuinely interested in fashion yeah and I have a lot of ideas but you know you don't want to listen to me I like that I ignore like ignore my lot advice Jim if this is about you getting a pilot I'm going to personally sit down and write <laughs> Keith the cop a letter saying never let this guy get a show on compound media they, they, ever they, yes I got an idea <laughs> yes it's, it's a show about it's it's interviewing someone, but but in a wiffle ball game. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you, you, you got it. You got it. Um, okay, so. <laughs> Good with you. Um, you know, uh, a lot of stuff is going on, and uh, I felt like you know we haven't been here for a while. It's good to always reintroduce ourselves and. Uh, what we can do, and I believe that it's now time for an impromptu East Side Dave Show talent competition. Oh my God. That's right, talent competition. Uh, yep. 
Now, I don't know who's going to go first. Um, I can see by the, uh, well, the I lack of enthusiasm tell. on that side of the room <laughs> that no one wants to no. go. Yeah. Even though I did talk to you about this before the program. I suggest we put Bo first. Yeah. Just, yeah. just for... Oh, Bo. Hey, Bo, 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 you can stay right there. We're going to do the talent competition over there. All right. Yeah, there's no reason. Just stand up, uh, name and location, uh, what your talent is going to be, and then proceed. My name is my name is Bobo, and I'm, I've got to perform, Bo, Bo. I'm gonna perform a little stand up. Location, please. Uh, my name is Bobo. I'm from I'm from Queens, New York. And your talent? A little stand up comedy. A little stand up comedy from Bo All from right. Queens. Okay, I love it. Bo right. from Queens, a little stand up right. comedy. All right. Okay, Roy, Roy, give him whatever you whatever kind of bed you'd like there. Okay, right. Bo, you start whenever you want there. All right. So what happened was for whatever reason, sometimes I get a little. You know, a little depressed, not getting laid. So I probably have, <laughs> may have fapped it to some porn. So I was, I ended up fapping to some porn of some uh, Asian women, right? Okay. <laughs> and I realized something. I said, you know what? I should probably consider move, becoming, joining some Japanese comedy show because I realized something. I'd probably be hung like a mule over in Japan. All right. Oh. Like over here. I mean, that's kind of fun. I mean, it's, it's slightly, but, it, it's racist, but, but, but it's but, fun. But, I mean, I go there. Okay. I'm like hung like a mule, and right. you would be saying, oh, that guy, that, that, that people would be jealous, like, that American who just moved here, he's got very big penis. <laughs> oh, I'm very jealous of that American. I like this. He came here. Yeah, it's pretty good, Bo. And they'd be That's very like, racist, and the women Bo, would be <laughs> They'd be all over me because they had never seen anything that big before. All right, Bo. Bo from Queens delivered on the stand-up. Oh, dude, was there more? And more. And then oh. I'd probably be like, okay, I'd probably be a big shot. Yeah, I'm a big. I'm part of a big shot, a big uh, comedy show in America, and I'm gonna bring that same humor over there. Maybe I maybe. And then maybe we should bring this. To, I should bring that crazy. That my crazy friend Dave. Bring his you whole show quit. there. You should. You should have quit a long time ago. You should have quit while you were ahead. These stopped being jokes and beca it became statements became weird. of craziness. Oh. Bo from Queens, stand up comedy. Woo! The first seventy five percent was gold. Last twenty five percent, not so much. Jim. I got a song, but I'm not ready. I didn't pull it out yet. Hold oh on. my God, Robert, what is your talent? We're gonna go to you because Jimmy's not ready. He's got something in his bag. It's probably a gun. Just blow me away at this point, Jim. I'm okay with it. I'm fine. Um, Robert, uh, get uh, yeah, right in the middle there. Okay, Robert. Um, I'm gonna take the name, location, and talent, please. Uh, Robert, Hershey. Hershey, Pennsylvania. And, uh, I'm gonna take the high road here. Uh, I was going to do stand-up, and I feel like Bo heard me tell you that, and so he decided to do stand-up. Good point. Good point. Wow. Um, he stole your thunder, he, as he they just, say on Sports Talk uh, shows. Until somebody tells me otherwise, that's a storyline I'm going to run with. Okay. Um, instead, I think I'm going to do a headstand. Headstand. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Your talent can be anything. Okay? It, it can be physical. We, we gotta. This is going to be impressive if he can do this, because I... Oh. Robert! Oh. I did not... That was gonna happen. That was great. Holy shit, Robert! Robert, you shock people. I happen to know for a fact that you're high as a kite right now. So oh you really do have a flat fucking head, don't you? <laughs> really good. And Robert came back from vacation now, not only with the creepy mustache, but now with creepy mutton chops yeah. on top of it. Uh, we all came back look. from vacation, extra scary looking. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy, are you ready now? Yeah, Jim? I, I, I was going to do a headstand. <laughs> Shut up, Jim. Let's just go. Come on. <laughs> I, I got a song, Dave. It's about what I've been feeling for the last okay. couple of weeks. No one can hear those sentences because you were off the mic. I, I, this is about what I'm feeling right now. Yeah, well, name and location. Oh, my name is Jimmy. And what your talent is. Hold on. My name, name is Jimmy. And, and I'm from New York City. Okay. Talent. I'm gonna sing a song about what I'm feeling. Thank you. Because I'm from a broken family. Jimmy from New York City with a song. <laughs> Dave, why don't you answer my text? It's not like I want to have sex with you. 
I like blue chew. Don't you? Dave, let's go play with a ball so I can feel beautiful and I can stand tall. I need a friend so my mind won't bend, so my life won't end. I'm dreaming of a time, I am thinking of a rhyme where you can play with me. Where's your sympathy? Please be my friend. Dave, let me get you a water. Drop the restraining order. Never. Please let me cross the border to the land of my friend. To the end, Dave McDonald. All right, well, Jimmy, crowd seemed to like it, Jim. Oh yeah. All right, Run who's the house next? Down. Andrea, are you competing in this? Uh, I, I would. I have an impression. Oh depression. my God! Andrew's got impression. We we can uh, put the microphone back towards you if the ankles uh, still hurt you. Yeah, <laughs> Andrea, the ankles still bothering you a little bit. All right, Andrea's got an impress. Uh, name, location, and talent, please. My name is Andrea, and I'm from Queens. Okay, Rather, Andrea, I from live Queens. in Queens. I've lived in New York City for one year today. Oh, oh happy, happy anniversary! anniversary. <laughs> Wonderful. And, uh, you know, in the spirit of my recovery since uh, breaking my ankle, not even eight weeks ago, I'd like to do my impression of Peter Sellers from the great film Dr. Strangelove or oh. How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. I love this, Andrea. I'm a gigantic Stanley Kubrick fan. Yes, me too, Andrea. This Andrew. is wonderful. Well, because you what have taste, too. Dave, like the rest of us civilized people. <laughs> <laughs> I like Andrea's sullen sort of 1992 Eddie Vedder thing that she's got going on. He puts the head down and very pensive Gets and even a haircut. Um, okay. Andrea, this is an impression. Go for it. Whenever you want. Mein Führer! I can walk! Okay, but that's... You were just looking for a reason to give the Nazi salute, Andrea. That's literally the only reason why you did that. Yeah. But uh, that's good. That's good. I think that worked. Um, who's next? Flutzy? Okay, right. Flutzy's next. Okay. So, my name is Flutzy. I'm Flutzy. from the Bronx. Flutzy from the Bronx. New York City. And I am an origami expert. Origami Whoa, expert. Cool. I will walk you through okay. the fine technique. We're, we're going to need some origami music of here. What oh, it there means it is. Beautiful. To be. All right. An so far, so good. You, I mean, you're just folding paper, right? So. Mm -hmm. As I pull back each side of the page, yeah. I'm creating a new shape, Ooh. right? Very relaxing, meditative, if you will. Oh. And then so I tear, relaxing that I'm falling asleep I tear, during your act. <laughs> I tear the pages. Mm -hmm. Are you just making a paper airplane? or No. <laughs> What's going on no, here? No, David. Oh, she's making a paper football. And now, <laughs> and now I have oh, yeah? a triangle. Oh, that was awful. Oh. And now, oh. I'm not done. I'm not done. I, well, I, you, this I is the process. Every Japanese origami master <laughs> who poses as a Puerto Rican woman playing the flute yeah. does not reveal the end until it's the end. Okay, but you know, can As we I speed this up a little bit? Yes, you're just folding pages. into smaller and smaller triangles. You will see, my darling. Yes, you the, obviously came with nothing now, today. It's a square. There's a okay, one. No, I'm not Flutzy. done. No, yes, you I'm are. Not yes. Done. Very boring. I'm We're not, not going to continue. Andrew. I'm not done. Andrew, you are done. Andrew. I'm not done. What's next? Andrew, Andrew seriously. Because go. Whatever your fucking thing is, please. I'm not, He's no, trying, I'm David. No, done. I know. Just, just ignore her. And the final product. Wonderful. Listen, Fantastic. I know you already like ah, the buzzer, but I want to give this to you because oh. please, the Andrew, begin. The final product is a paper clip. Ooh. A flower. Okay, great. Oh. That was nice. I like that. Andrew, go ahead. <laughs> Wonderful. 
Andrew, name, location, and talent, please. Oh, uh, Andrew um, Bronx. Andrew Bronx. And uh, dancing. Dancing. Yeah. <laughs> the big guy loves to dance. That is yeah. one thing about Andrew Gold. If yeah. he gets a Andrew. chance to show off his dance moves, he's gonna take it. I don't. Yeah. I don't blame you. You're like Fred Astaire. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh. All right. Big A. He's got a big A. Back that ass up. He's okay. Oh, yeah. Showing the yeah. ass a little he's bit. Great. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Now he's shaking. Shaking. Yeah. Thrust. Ooh. Maybe a couple crotch thrusts. Yeah. That's oh. it. Yeah. Dip it. Dip great. it. Dip it. Touch it a little bit. Yeah. Spank it. Spank it a little. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 bravo, yeah, big, big A. All right, so uh, big that, big that'll big do it. Big A, big A, big A. Oh, I got one, David. I got one. Big A, big A, big A, big A. All right, thank you for that. Um, Roy? David, I didn't get a chance to go uh, yet. You're going. I am going to go now. Oh, my God. This is exciting. I okay. Now, you know my thing is magic, right? Yes. All right. Roy is a world-renowned magician, I am. Fact. Mentalist at that. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little mind, uh, a little mind book reading uh, trick on you, David. With me? With you, okay. if you don't mind. No, I don't mind at all. This all is right. fantastic. Let's start by picking a number between 1 and 100, David. Uh, one in a hundred? Let's say one in three hundred. One in three hundred. Oh. Let's make it even crazier. Oh, man. Okay, between one and three hundred it is. One and three hundred. Okay, let's go with... You know what? 214. It's a good number. The address of my old house. You guys remember in Long that number, Ranch, please? 214. Please remember that number. 214. That's on a good Westwood one. Avenue. Now give me another number between one and ten. Um, let's go with one. One. Fair yeah, enough. Let's go with one. Give me one more. I want a number between one and ten. One more. Well, another number between one and ten. Yeah. Uh, so let's go with six. All right. So let's stay last. So what do we right. have now? We In have honor of Joe Tory. So what Yankees. do we have now? We have two, one, four, two, one, fourteen, and then one, one, one six. six. Okay. Um, I need a book. Is does anyone have a book handy? Can oh, anyone get I a like book? I like this. Is there any? Is does there anyone need a? Get, but Robert's getting a book. Robert's getting me a book. All right, Robert's getting you a book. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna need a book. Uh, get me a random book. Just make sure it has over like I guess 300 pages or something. Oh. Just make sure it's a nice fat book with a lot of writing in a it. A big buddy. fat book. Okay. Yeah. And you want the book, Roy? Um. Or you actually, want you want me to have the book? I'll give you the book, David. Okay. It only has 200. Let me have the. How book. many pages we have in there? 297. Is that going to do? That's perfect. That's perfect. fine? Okay. All right. All right. So, Dan, what was our number again? 214? 214. 214. Or was the yeah. first three numbers. All right. So, what I want you to do is, I want you to go to page 214 on that very book, David. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. 214 just, on this book I'm gonna right here. I'm going to grab myself a pen. What is this book even called? Dying for a Living. Sins and Confessions. Okay. All right. So, anyway. 214. All right. Life. I got it. <laughs> so, you said 214. You're on page 214 now, I right? am indeed. All right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to the first line, number one of your number that you chose. Yeah, that was number one. That was the first line. Okay. So go to the first line. Yes, first okay. line on that, on that page, 214. Now, what was the last number you chose? Six. Six. I go to the sixth word on that line. Okay. All right, now I'm going to write down something here. You're going to, are you, yeah, I wouldn't uh, write it down on your keyboard. <laughs> it's a, okay, you're writing something down. All right. Could I have somebody from the audience? Uh, Flucy, please come up. Yay! What? Have us have My lovely assistant. Someone from the audience, come on up and. Do not open that yet, please. She just needs to stand by you. Oh, she Flucy, can. You look yes. Great. All right. Now, David, can you please show that book uh, to the camera so so people know that I'm not f I'm not full of shit here. Yes. Okay. The sixth word right here. No surprise, I, by the way, what this sixth word is. Can you I zoom my, in on that uh, page? I got my finger right Dave, above what, it. Dave, what is the word that uh, you have chosen here? Of course, Roy Harder would choose the word vaginal. Vaginal. Yes. There it is. Vaginal. <laughs> Flutie. Don't Please even. Please unwrap. Don't even. Unwrap the paper that I just wrote and handed you. Don't even tell me. And please tell this is, David this is not and happening. the audience what that paper says. Show it, I, I thought, show it to I the camera as well. I think you meant well. to say vaginal, but it says vagnal. <laughs> <laughs> so you oh, fucked man. up the word. Oh, vagnal. So in the theory, mediocre mind reader, uh, Roy Harder strikes again. Mediocre mind reader strikes again. Oh. Roy Harder, the mediocre mind reader. You almost oh. got it. 
Oh. You were one letter off. Oh. Damn it, David. So close. Just the so close. Vagnol. So close. You had it. So close. What David. a phenomenal <laughs> trick had you simply spelt it correctly. We're going to go to one, huh, Dave? You are such a mediocre mind reader. Sorry, buddy. Unbelievable. Well, Roy Harder, Roy the Harder. mediocre mind reader. You were right there. Okay. <laughs> Drew. Uh, you select the winner because I don't know who the hell won that competition. <laughs> Roy Hart, the mediocre uh, mind reader, Big A, mean, mean Big A, the dance machine, Flutzy with that horrendous origami uh, scenario, uh, Japanese origami, uh, Bubbo with some fantastic stand up comedy, uh, Andrea did a scene out of Dr. Strangelove. You had Robert stained on his head, very surprisingly, considering how high he is, and then Jimmy with the song. Wow. I mean, we can only have one winner. I honestly didn't think everybody here had talent, but it, apparently they do. You're right about that, Drew. <laughs> In fact, no, none of us, Way myself to start included. It off. Yeah. But uh, besides the um, the Heil, that was great. Oh my God, Big A's dancing was amazing. It was. Uh, the magic trick, <laughs> just in general. Magic trick was uh, almost. I Amazing. So close, David. Oh, so close. So close. So You're close. always so close with your Damn magic it. tricks. Goddamn mediocre. But no. even though we've seen this town a few times, I think it really was kind of amazing. And uh, I have to give the win to Jimmy first. Oh! Jimmy! Jimmy's a champion! Look at the raucous enthusiasm. <laughs> and now he's disrobing, even though no one asked him to. Jimmy is your champion on the east side, Dave Chazelle. And he is developing more stomach hair. Jimmy, you've got go to on. do something about that stomach hair situation. It's crazy looking. All right, fantastic. Jimmy, round of applause for Jimmy, everyone. Round of smattering, smattering of applause for Jimmy. Um, Drew, okay. well, you, Drew, I love you. Okay. Thank you, Drew, I love you. Easy, Jim. Um, okay. Well, that was great, Roy. Boy, I really wanted your magic. I wanted you to take that one home. <laughs> so did I, David. I put you last there because you said, Davey, I got a magic trick that's going to knock your socks off. I came close, didn't I? Very close, <laughs> but wrong. But wrong. Vagnol. From now on, <laughs> that's all I'll be no, thinking vagnol. about when I look at you is the word Vagnol. <laughs> now, right before vacation, we had a disastrous oh, flute game yeah. where she chose Very controversial. a controversial movie that had two goddamn release dates. Was this the week that One was in away? fucking Italy, yeah. one in America. Oh, my God. It was, it was just... So you're going to have a chance to redeem yourself. Yes. I... I I beg of you that you chose a decent song tonight. I did. All right. Good to see everyone. Okay. That's um, accurate of your new haircut. <laughs> I know, the behavior I know. is exactly what a skinhead would do. I'm feeling angry You're, these days. Look, Go ahead. Please. This was meant dying for a living. What the hell? This was used for the last segment. I know, but your segment is it's very to accurate play to your, your current life. <laughs> <laughs> now listen. Okay. What's the phone number here? Because I don't have a memory. 877 962 6846. What you want to be doing is calling right now, and if you can guess the movie that the song is from, boom! You're the July 16th, 2019 Eastside Dave Show champion. You are! You get that title. You could change your Twitter profile to represent as much. So call up right now. Take a guess. Just, just try. 877 962 6846. Alright. So. Oh my god. She is doing this again. I, I think we need to have uh, no movie meetings. Oh my god! Your movie selection is horrendous. This is a great movie. <laughs> no one's gonna get this. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's see. see. You haven't done stripes. That. No. I keep asking. Bill Murray stripes. No, I really can't do it. Yeah. Just do that. You chose a movie that is in. Possible. It's not impossible. We have a it's new a rule famous. after last week's debacle. Three contestants. If they don't get it by three contestants, maybe we go to the room. But otherwise, you get you the know X. What? You get the Last loss. week was, and believe it or not, the only week where it was a really, really hard time. Every other week, somebody got it. You did the notebook a year ago. And somebody got it. 
Bullshit. That's not true. I would bullshit. remember. Look okay. at this face I'm doing right here. <laughs> That's bullshit. your bullshit face, buddy. That's my bullshit just face. Saying. That's your bullshit, bullshit face. That is not bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's not bullshit. That's bullshit. That's not bullshit. <laughs> That's my bullshit face. That's when I do that, face. it means bullshit on it you. It means Matt! you're inconsistent with your memory. <laughs> All right, let's go. This is not going to... I'm going to flat out say it's from 1971. Oh, I know this. <laughs> it's not up to you. It's up to her and then the callers. All right, everyone listen. Just, we'll go to the room if three people don't get it. We're only doing three. Don't cap It's the them. new rule. It, we have to. One best picture. Maybe it's just me then. I don't feel like this is a popular movie. One best movie. picture. <laughs> That's a very good thing. Yeah. Fucking hits, Jimmy. Mine is 20 points. You're screaming that it won Dude. best picture in the microphone. How Roy, dare you, you? Roy, you know this? Yeah, but I'm not going to say no, it. No, don't say it. Andrew, do yes, you know this? Absolutely. Robert? Uh, Bo? No, and Andrea. What? Okay, Andrea's a little bit I drunk. Um, all right, let's go to the caller because we already have this. people on the line. Sean. Wow. From West Virginia. Yeah, baby. So Sean, Mount 40 Mama. people on the line. Sean. It, it, it's Sloan. Sloan! Sloan. It's Sloan, Hawk. Sloan has called the show 80 times. And literally every name, every single every time, time, you spell his name differently. <laughs> and then you set me up to look like an asshole. Now I look like an asshole, man. Yeah, you fuckhead! Get him off the phone! Oh, 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 <laughs> Sloan, I no. apologize. Oh, negative energy. Sloan, do you have the tonight's episode is about fun, so I apologize. What is I apologize your... for that too. That's that. Don't feel bad. I, I had a kind of a bad day too. All right. Aww. Thank you. We're in the same boat now. Sloan, what is your guess? Well, I, I know what that is. It's a, it's a, it's one of my favorite Broadway plays. I actually yeah. watched it when I visited there in 2001. It's the uh, it's uh, it's the musical version of the Turner Diaries, specifically no. the Day of the Rope. <laughs> the Turner Diaries, the novel about white supremacists blowing up buildings, which is what Oklahoma City uh, bomber Timothy McVeigh oh, used. As a manifesto. It's the day of the road. Get him it's off the line, hockey. Get him the fuck off the line. That wasn't accurate. Not. They never Not made quite. a movie or Broadway musical out of the Turner Diaries. It's very bad propaganda. But guess who is on the line right now? Sharon. The we have champion, champion. Sharon, Sharon is on the line. Sharon. That dude's on the line. Champion, champions. Sharon is on the line. Sharon. Hi. Sharon. Hi. You know nice this. to talk to you as always. Now, do you uh, need a replay of this? I do not. Do not. Yeah, Sharon. Okay. Champions yeah. come prepared. What is uh, the guest then here, Sharon? Okay, my guess would be Fiddle on the Roof. Yes! Yeah. Yes! Man, yeah. Dick! Yeah. 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 The greatest Champions. player of all time. Sharon. She's probably the greatest athlete I've ever she seen in my life. Sharon, Michael I love Jordan. you. Please I'm remind She's better than Michael Jordan. Michael, Sharon, this is what, 18 championships? 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. Jordan had six. 19. Wow. Sharon has 19. Beautiful. No athlete has come close. She's got more than Jack Nicholas, for <laughs> fuck's sake, who had 18 grand slams. <laughs> Good jeans. Good he, jeans. And he was great at The Shining. Uh, Dave, I think you Jack owe me Nicholson an apology. Um, I, I am sorry that, you, that your taste in music and movies sucks. <laughs> It's actually, it doesn't just kidding. Kidding. just kidding, just kidding. You did a good job. Flutzy, everyone. Thank you. Flutzy, Flutzy. He got the bada. He got the bada. He got the bada. He got the bada. Flutzy, Flutzy. Oh, my God. Dave. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
good. When, when I was normal in 1990s, I did that. Oh, I did two. Good. I did two national tours of Fiddler on the Roof. Did you know that? Uh, no, I did not. I did uh, because yeah. I don't believe things that you say. Really? Yeah, really. Thank you. Will you play with? Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Will you play with? Football? Thank with you, Jim. Me. Andrew. Did you want to say something? Oh, yes. Um. Andrew, two points. You're always, you always add so much levity and positivity to the room. <laughs> Thank you so Smile much. Smile brightens Andrew. up the room, See? buddy. Uh, that's all. Thank you, Andrew. Right. Andrew, everyone. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, did you see this? Now, let me ask you a question. Here. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Okay, because this seemed me too ish to me. Okay. Which was uh, Jennifer Lopez was doing a show at Madison Square Garden. I mean, J-Lo. Uh, J-Lo. Yeah. And Carly Lloyd of the U.S. women's soccer team. That j just won the World Cup. That's just right. won the championship. Yep. Uh, she was in attendance. And it was Carly Lloyd's birthday. So they brought her up on stage. And Jennifer Lopez started to give a very sultry lap dance. <laughs> actually whipping the girl in her face with her own hair. Ooh. Ooh. Booty. Uh, gyrations. Ooh. Yes, there felt like uh, she was rubbing her private area oh. on Carly Lloyd. Yeah. And I was I was wondering about this. How much did she tip her? <laughs> That's not what I was wondering. But if it was uh, inappropriate. But I guess what? Because it's female and female? I guess that's it's a, okay. Well, let me ask you this. Is Kay, Kay Carly Lloyd? Carly you? Lloyd. Carly Lloyd. Is she gay? No, she is married to a nice gentleman named Brian. She's from the state of New Jersey. Okay, mm -hmm. so how about that? Well, in that yeah. case, it's uh, sexual harassment, buddy. It seems like that. Flutzi, you're a female. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's not really a me too thing. You don't think so? I mean, what if she was uncomfortable? She did it though? willingly. She was brought up on stage willingly. Yeah. And then they kind of like shove this woman, the soccer player, into a chair. And then Jennifer Lopez is grinding on her. And you could tell. She was like, but she's in front of Madison Square Garden. Uh, what is she going to be like? No, I don't feel comfortable. Yeah. She felt self conscious. So what do you think? I mean, she should have just. Uh, Punched J-Lo in the face? Smacked her ass. And, Pulled the big and, A? Yeah. Fucking choked her out with piano Why wire not? and buried her in, in her backyard? I don't know what the big deal things. is. It's not like she's going to get a hard on and embarrass herself in front of the college. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. So. You get a wet spot, I suppose. <laughs> oh, there you Shout go. out to Chrissy Marr, I suppose. <laughs> um, uh, yes, Robert. Robert has some input for this. Um, I was just curious. I'm having Are a hard you, time. You're, you're just an intern I'm still. Just, but I'm just an intern yeah, still, okay. but I'm having a hard time visualizing this. Do you have like a video of this we could see, for example? Oh, Drew, do we have the video? I forgot to ask. That's on me, Drew. That's okay. We'll go searching for it. That's minus two points on me, Drew. Um, you guys think, uh, who, who do you think Roy would do the best lap dance? I'm going to go with uh, Flutzy on that one, buddy. Fl Flutzy? Yeah. Mm. Well, let's prove it. I suggest, but, but see, we don't want a Me Too scenario, so I'm going to put on the couch Lil Davey, okay. and then we're going to have a lap dance competition. Right now. I like the sound of that, With buddy. just because Andrea has a hurt ankle. Big A, Flutzy, Bo, Jimmy, and Robert. Mm. Okay? Someone take a little Davy away oh, from me. Shit. I don't need to be doing this shit by myself. Collapse there you go, Robert. Quick. Hustle. Hustle, Robert. Quick. Fast. Hustle like a bunny. Hey, there hey. you go. Okay. Why don't we check so, out the video real quick before we go in there while Dave Yeah, you want to you see? Set. You might have to fast forward a little bit because yeah, there's it. a lot of nonsense before. Oh, here it is. Okay. Look so at, she's already sitting there. She, yes, I know. They brought her up yeah. on stage. Trust me. Well, the, I mean, the, she had no choice. What is she supposed to do? Uh, that does not look to be like uh, someone who's comfortable. That dress is amazing. I want it. You're focusing on the wrong thing there, Flutzy. I'm focusing I'm on her ass, to... believe me. <laughs> I'm focusing on the very right she's thing She's touching. Here. She's putting the ass on the legs. It's close to Carly Lloyd's vaginal area. Yes. I wonder what I she got. Don't f I feel like I can feel Carly Lloyd's energy, and she's like, oh, God, what do I do here? But, you know, I guess no one would really complain too much about Jennifer Lopez doing it. But she is a heterosexual married woman. So you get, and now just a group. It's, that does. Uh, she does not look like someone who is comfortable. Oh, <laughs> That's an Ooh. awkward smile. That's I can't be out of here. That looks, exact, that looks like my bachelorette, my bachelor party, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude I added it in a sky. Yeah. Uh, gold fingers or scores, one yeah, of those right. places. That's exactly what happened to me, buddy. I know. That's exactly. You're just that. like, uh, don't touch anybody. Yeah. <laughs> just make it through this song. Then they without dump all the shit and paint on my fucking head. <laughs> okay. 
So to prove it, yeah. it's going to be a competition. Um, we're going to start with Bo. Uh, some uh, stripper music, Roy, I suppose, is all we need. And uh, Pootsie, move over for a little baby. All right, so far, Bo, it's more of a creepy thing. It's thrusting of the penis into the... There you go. That's more of a lap dance right there. That's good. That's your best friend, Bo. Remember, that's your best friend. He best loves you so much. Bo, what the fuck are you doing? Bo, turn to the side. Turn to the side, Bo. You're fucking the doll, Bo. Take it away from him. Take it the fuck away from him. All right, Bo, everyone. That was over the line. You fucked a puppet live on the East Side Dave show. You did that with no prompting from anyone else. God. Let's straighten the goddamn puppet up, and Jimmy, you're up next. Let's go. Someone straighten the fucking puppet up already. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this already. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Do it. We can put the, the puppet in there. There it is. Go to the left a little bit. I want to see the puppet too. There it is. Perfect. That's it. That's where you want to be. On the left there. All right, Jim. So far, pretty terrible. As expected. Jimmy taking his time, not really getting into it. There it is, Jimmy. Don't block the puppet's face with your left arm. That's it. Yeah, what is the move? What is he doing? <laughs> okay. Jimmy, everyone. All right, Robert, you're up next. Robert, just try your best. I know you're really high, and you're just an intern. Go to the left of the puppet so we can see the puppet's face. All right, here we go. Next song. <laughs> That's it. That's it, Robert. You know, you've been there. You've been there, baby. Yeah, baby. Robert been to his thrift club too, baby. They always do that leg thing. That leg thing is absolutely oh a go-to move by the lap dancers. Robert, I think, did a fantastic job. All right, Flutesy. Me? Yes, you. You're oh, part of them. Oh, man. Scary true romance music now. Oh, she's oh, really. Lucy. Oh boy. Oh man. At the... Wow. Okay. She's she's doing lots of twirls. Okay. So far though, now while she's dancing, that's it. She's not doing much for the puppet. The puppet's like, hey, what about me? Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I like that. Oh. Slapping. Oh. Don't get frisky, puppet. Oh. Hands off the goddamn dancers. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the puppet got frisky. He had to get slapped around. He'll probably have to get a bouncer called on him. Um, Big A. Yeah. You are the final contestant <laughs> of an impromptu lap dance competition with a fucking puppet. Oh my god. I told you tonight's episode was gonna be clusterfucky. Alright, Andrew! See, Let's give your hand, put your hands together for extra Andrew. sexy, Andrew! Give your hand to the stage, Andrew! Yeah. Oh, I love it. Love it, Andrew. These are some of the same moves that we saw earlier in the talent yeah. show. No, no, keep going. I don't want to distract you. Oh man, it's hard. Get that ass right there, though. Right on his face. I think you might have killed let him. Let him, let him taste it, Will. Let him taste oh. it. Let him taste it. Let him taste it. Kobe, tell me how my ass tastes. Come on. All right, nice. Andrew, go. Oh. Big A. Andrew, go. Oh. Don't shake that until he's won the competition. I believe I've told you that before, Jim. Minus 55 fucking points. You chant Big A after he's won. Not for everything Big A does. True. Okay, Jim. He doesn't get awarded a medal for participation. Thank you, Fuzzy. <laughs> Give yourself one point. Okay. No, Jim. <laughs> Drew. Uh, tell me who won. Unless, I mean, Roy. Well, you can't participate because no, you're playing the play keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I could try unless, to play for you. Unless you want me to take him into the champagne lounge. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Uh, 
Drew, baby. I um, this who won one, that I think, competition? Uh, That's a, that, that was a tough one. I think there were a couple standouts. I like the fact that Robert got the leg move and no one else uh, got that one. And I liked how Flutzy was slapping him around that, because he got a little too that frisky. Was good. That uh, was Bo good. Bo was in your face aggressive. <laughs> Jimmy, terrible as usual. You don't get to the point quick enough. And Andrew, I loved your moves, but yes. we've seen them in the talent show. Okay. So I, I personally feel like it's between those two, but it's up to you, Drew. You're the um, judge. Well, I thought Bobo did very well, uh, and he had a close run-in, but I think um, the most realistic, like you said, has obviously been to a strip club, has to go to Bobby. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Robert, well done. <laughs> I love the new look I just for like how it feels like Drew, Hawk, and Roy will never give you, Flutzy, a championship no. for no. as long as they live. I think I've gotten two. I... <laughs> Literally, Flutzy, probably I thought you were two. beautiful. He I think I did with, the best. I was the most Robert, creative. Robert, the intern. <laughs> right. To me, I built that game for, for you me, to win a to championship. Win. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I gave him a sneak peek of my ass. I have, oh, that was him wonderful. Around a little bit. I have that my was reasons. Wonderful. I have my reasons. You no, know? I, no, no, I can't argue with the judge. I don't argue with the goddamn judge. Um, <laughs> oh my god. So much stuff, though, is going, my God, the show's fucking over. It's time to go, buddy. What the fuck happened here tonight? Fun happened, baby. Fun happened. Um, I do want to say that um, I've been noticing on Twitter um, that there's a lot of women. Um, uh, Flutzy, I don't know if you know about this. I, 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 there's hmm. a lot of women on Twitter, buddy. A lot of women are saying, go to my um, website. And it's the same website time and time again. It says OnlyFans.com. Are you right. familiar? Are no. you familiar with this? Yeah, they've been friending yes. me too. Onlyfans.com. Yeah, and then I go and I get I feel dirty. It's a cam girl scenario. Yeah, it's a cam okay. girl. I don't need that. Okay, because I keep getting invites, but at the same time, don't give in. I did click on this, and it was like seven dollars and ninety nine cents just for a picture. So I do want to alert everyone that. Um, <clears throat> OnlyFans.com. Just check out at Eastside Dave. Yeah. Because, I mean, I got a lot. Okay? You can PayPal. You know what? I'll give a little sneak peek myself. I mean, you know, you can PayPal me. Didva, D-I-D-V-O-D at AOL.com. Roy, play me some fucking sultry music. Whoa. Yeah. Dave's amazing. Ooh. Oh my Ooh. god, that beautiful that is the most beautiful nipple. You know you ever. do have nice nipples, I must oh. say. That's I don't know beautiful. about this stuff. Oh that's great. This reminds me of oh. someone drug. So see more at onlyfans.com and feel free to pay down me hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Because the American health uh, care system is broken. Okay, so uh, that will do it. You know, it was clusterfuck. It was. What a good time, Dave. But it was a, it was a fine day. Dare I say it was a real fine day. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm happy to be back. I'm not happy to be seeing your face, Jim, but everyone else's face. I am happy to see. It. Not yours, Jim. Not yours. Everyone else's, though, I'm happy. Not yours. Son of a bitch. Fucking son of a bitch. Roy, it's good to see you again. Good to be back, buddy. I missed you. Yeah. And thank you, you for Pat Dixon weeks. for filling in for thank me. Thank you to Pat Dixon for filling Pat in. Dixon. He is phenomenal. Okay, Roy, you ready, baby? Always ready, buddy. Here we go. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Ain't got the blues, ain't got time for bad news. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. From Long Island to West LA. No need to worry, cause I ain't in no hurry. Damn, it's been a real fine day. 
There's a whole lot of trouble out in this world, yeah. Whole lot of worry, whole lot of worry. Now that I had you come into my life, there's a whole lot of reason to say. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Got on my new shoes, ain't no way we're gonna lose. Cause damn, it's been a real fine day.